Hey, go down. PPM in 2.0. Sounds like a sci-fi film. Uh, uh, what's it all about? It does sound fancy, doesn't it? BPM in 2.0 is a super handy tool for managing business processes. Let me break it down for you. To give you a bit of context, BPMN or Business Process Model and Notation came out in 2004. It's a visual language that makes business processes easy to understand for people and for machines. It is a toolbox that allows you to translate your business processes into a universal and easily understandable notation based on simple shapes and arrows. Um, so it's like a universal translator for businesses. Exactly. It helps you turn your process designs into actions without any confusion. There are a lot of interesting components in the BPMN. Let me break it down for you. Okay, so first are the activities. These are the steps in your process. So for example, human activities needs a person to do something, while manual activities, let's say a task reminder, or comments that you have to do manually, like picking up a delivery, putting up your furniture, or anything else that is outside the process. So what about service and script activities? Yeah, so the script activities run scripts in the system that can be customized and service activities involve other applications, like sending emails or accessing a database. Then the last one we have is calling activities which trigger other processes. Okay, so coming up to the next, we have events. So start events trigger the process. Intermediate events happen along the way and end events mark their conclusion to wrap up your whole process. They are like road signs that you follow during your road trip. Oh yes, you're totally right. They keep the process moving smoothly. Okay, so now we come on to the gateways. Well, the gateways control the flow of the process. They can be exclusive, inclusive, or even parallel. These ensure the process follows the correct path based on conditions. So they are essential for the decision-making process. Well, you know what? I've also heard about artifacts. Well, how do they fit in? Oh cool, so you have heard about them. Well, artifacts like text annotations add extra details and groups visually combine elements to show they are related. Well, finally, jumping onto the structures. You can use sub-processes for complex steps and aim for clarity. Name your activities clearly, use annotations for details, and keep your diagrams neat. Okay, so that's great. Do you have any best practices that you can share? Well, absolutely. Clear and descriptive names for activities are the key. Annotations add context and always include opening and closing gateways for clarity. Feel free to put any emojis to name your process as well. Also, remember that a process is made to facilitate the final user's job. That's why it needs to be clear and intuitive. Here is an example of a whole process using a BPM strategy. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it, and subscribe for more business process insights. You can even access the link to a cheat sheet in the description for more advanced information if you want. I will see you next time.